Yo, what is up guys? Brandon here from Red Black Productions, and today I'm going to teach you how to shape mask in Final Cut Pro 10. So as always, we're going to go ahead and create a new project, and import the files we want. Now that it's imported, let's go and drag it onto the timeline. And let's just adjust it to make it a little bit bigger. Okay, so here's our clip. So pretty much what we want to do is we want to shape mask so we have our subject is lighter while the background is darker to emulate a more shallow depth of field look. So to do that, first let's make sure our clip is selected. Once it's selected, let's go to our inspector window over here and go under video. So under video, we'll go to the color area and go under correction 1. Now under correction 1, we'll have these two buttons. So we're going to go ahead and click on the second one, the Add Shape Mask button. So let's click over here on Add Shape Mask. Now we'll get this mask button over here. So what this is, is just two circles. So basically, this is our mask. So the inner ring, or the inner circle, indicates the mask itself. So we can adjust it by moving these four green circles over here. Alright, so what this means is, this is our mask. So once the subject is inside, Pretty much she's going to be lighter while everything else is going to be darker. Now the outer ring of this shape mask circle, it pretty much indicates the feathering. So if we make the ring bigger, then that would be a more bigger and lighter feathering. Whereas if it would be more shallower and narrower, then it also indicate a more harsher, shallow feathering. So first, let's go and adjust it to however we like. Alright, I think that's pretty good. Now that it's done. Let's go ahead and click over here on our arrow tool under correction 1. Now we're going to go and make sure we click on the exposure tab over here. So once we click on the exposure, under mask over here, make sure we set it to outside. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take the exposure only outside of this circle mask over here. So let's go ahead and just tweak it a little bit. So now as you can see, by making it lighter or darker, you can see that what remains our subject is within the uh, mask ring is light or is still kept the same whereas the only outside is changing. So let's go ahead and tweak it to however we like. <laughs> oh right, and I think that's pretty good. So that's pretty much all you need to know how to shape mask in Final Cut Pro 10. You can also keyframe the mask if the subject is moving from say left to right, right to left, or just always constantly moving. We can always keyframe the mask by going under this transform button and repeating the same process as we would with keyframing by highlighting all of these and moving it every single frame. So yeah, that's pretty much all you need to know about shape mask in Final Cut Pro 10. Hope you guys liked it. If you found this video helpful, feel free to leave a comment down below, smash that thumbs up button, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Laters!